Hi guys, it's Edie's here and today I'm going to flip through my film journal. So I want to show you the front and back cover of this film journal. So here I have most stickers from Redbubble except the middle one is from a shop that I found through Comic-Con and then this one's from Etsy but this is just showing at the time when I started this in summer of 2020 I really love these shows and some most actually all of these I still love um, so Psych is my favorite TV show and Coraline is my favorite movie and then the rest are just shows that I love like Bob's Burgers, Star vs. Forces of Evil, Steven Universe, All the Bright Places, Beastars, Promised Neverland um, but I'm a big Steven Universe fan so most of the stickers are that way but check out Redbubble it's so easy to remove and like reposition their stickers it's such good quality I've been using them since I was like in high school so I definitely love recommend so yeah I'm not gonna really talk too much about each spread I'm just gonna show it to you and let me know which one you really really like some of them I might talk about it because I really love them and some of them I just might really quickly skip over or skim over um, so yeah I have a spread ideas and quotes spread here. I really love this. I got these stickers from Michaels. And by the way, this is a scratch for my cat, so don't mind that. Um, I have my favorites to watch. I have Pixar movie and Disney movie little spread here. So I watched during the pandemic the Pixar movies in a order and then I've just been adding some of the movies that came out like Luca and Turning Red and Soul but I watched it all the movies in order and then I watched the Pixar theory which was really interesting and then this is a list of 150 movies that are Disney animated movies and when I re-watch them I highlight them so a lot of these I've watched already but I have to re-watch them in order to qualify as like a highlighted movie so yeah, I really love that and I'll be putting that in all of my <laughs> journals. I have April 2020, so I print out the covers and then label them with their rating. And then I pick an overall favorite. So for this month, I watched all of these movies and TV shows and Promise Neverland was my favorite. I have music faves. I haven't done one of these after I did this one because I love it so much. And I definitely should redo it or do a new one, an updated one. I have a Hulu and Netflix tracker. This is my first film spread. This was for Coraline, and I really love how it turned out. I have a video on YouTube to talk about it and I'd like show you how I did it. Then I did a spread for Castle Rock. This is one of my favorite spreads. I love it. And I use my full memo printer for these two things and I just love doing this idea of using coffee to make the page dark. I think this one I actually use soy sauce though. I have the Pixar spread where I labeled all the Pixar movies and when I watched them. I still think these are my favorites. I love Ratatouille, Toy Story 2, Monsters University, and Coco in that order. Those are my favorites. Toy Story and the way that you will see most of my spreads I usually have scrapbook style with a little section for me to talk about why I like this movie what's my favorite like my thoughts and feelings about it so Toy Story I don't really do a lot of Disney ones I do want to get into it but I haven't done I think that's the only one I've done that's a Disney film she -Ra. I have a May 2020 section oh i have one actually i always by accident skip this rex orange county i have a little pop-up of all of my favorite well the albums and then these are my favorite songs from each album and i just love it this washi tape i got from amazon especially because i wanted like an orange theme hence the title so yeah i love it books i want to read and then books I read so I actually ended up reading Looking for Alaska, Misery, You're a Badass um, but yeah these are and Rat Queens and then I've been updating this because I do want to read 25 by the end of this year I have Beastars May 2020 spread 
Looking for Alaska is my favorite. I love that. The Black Lives Matter, Animal Crossing, June 2020. Central Park was my fave. Hamilton, who didn't watch Hamilton during the pandemic. Love this play, really awesome. Sounds like a random one. And then I kind of forgot about this book until I picked it back up two years later during, you know, May 22, 2022. And um, my favorite definitely has to be Nana, but I love Paradise Kiss. I love all of them, but those are like my three favorites with the little TV stickers. I did a studio spread with like a checklist of all the ones that I've watched so far. Your way delivery service spirited away house moving castle my neighborhood totoro and castle in the sky loved it and i really love this part i messed up on here but i still like it shrek my fave <laughs> psych as you know i have an anime to watch and to read list so i will yeah I'll and then it's kind of like a flipperoo. So when you flip it, it tells me how many volumes there are of the mangas and then how many episodes or seasons they have. Paracus, the same creator as Nana, one of my favorite shows or animes. Um, really fun. I love like the fashion aspect of it. I have this June 2022. My favorite was Stranger Things, but I really loved the summer I turned pretty as well. This is my Halloween checklist of the movies I watched during Halloween seasons, aka October. I have Corpse Bride, love that film. Spy X Family. Across the universe, I really love this spread because it's like vintage flowers and then this like super dark universe. I literally love this spread so much. Xenon, box trolls. I really love like the vintage spreads that I do. Skins UK, Twilight. So I've been doing all the Twilight movies and the Harry Potter movies. So this one is the first Twilight with the blue tint. I love this spread a lot. Gilmore Girls, Turning Red, Monster House, Studio. These are all the movies in order. The pictures are a little bit too big, but I didn't want to waste ink. So they're going to stay like that. Stranger Things. Well, uh, season 4 was really awesome, and I did like a Vecna theme. Nana. I love this side. I'm not a huge fan of this side, but I still love it and appreciate this show, so I'm okay with it. I would probably want to remake it in the near future. Paranorman. I'm also doing the Leica films. Ponyo. I, I love this. It brings me so much joy. Um, and I was, I, I was doing this spread as I was watching Ponyo, and I realized how it could be a really like good movie for LGBTQ representation and themes. I love it so much Steven Universe I love this spread the only thing I wish is instead of using black I would like to use pink but I love how all the characters well the main ones anyways have a little moment I would have liked to move this over and add bismuth but I didn't but I really love it so cute Okay, so this is the first Harry Potter film. It's the Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone, whichever way you want to see it. And I love this spread. It makes me really happy. And I did like a little wax seal too. Really awesome. Another favorite spread of mine has been Looking for Alaska. I printed a page off the internet and used coffee to make this look like vintage. And I have a little open me interactive that says I go to seek a great perhaps my favorite quote and yeah i love this spread a lot practical magic another favorite spread of mine it's so beautiful and i actually ripped up pages from uh of pride and prejudice or pride and prejudice i should say 
um, and I really love it. I have Chucky, the sci-fi series. I have a little pop-up. I wanted to do a bit of a jump scare. Then there's the second Twilight movie, New Moon, and I love this spread. I love especially this corner here. I love it so much. And like I love using like books in the background. I have it volume or chapter one, I should say. Um, I love it. It's I used to be deathly afraid of it. I just really like the movies, and it reminds me a lot of Stranger Things season four. Dead End Paranormal Park has a lot of LGBTQ representation, especially trans. The the main character is trans. That's why I, little, I did a little trans flag, and I love that they are, you know in some diversity I have this spread which I really love it's good luck to you Leo Grande it's all about body positivity and living your best life and I really like the message of this film love this dance scene too I want to eat your pancreas has been such an emotional read for me I love it it's really beautiful and I was sobbing when I finished reading it I read it in one day Heartstopper. This is all about the books. So there's four, so far four volumes for the graphic novel. I'm up to three and I definitely will be doing a spread for the actual show. Um, I love it. Such a cute series. Once again, the main characters are two boys. They're gay and it's just really awesome. I love it. Coraline, I redid her and or a spread for the movie and I really really love this one you can really see the growth at least I can and it was just so fun to do this I have a July spread so usually what I do is I make I separate the spreads I do monthly by doing a monthly spread so anything after this July spread I actually did these spreads in July these spreads I did in June so I have a scene Rio like popsicle theme and I love it and then I have a sticky note that I write down all the TV shows or films that I've watched so then I can print out the little posters so I have the summer I turned pretty I love this spread it's so beautiful I just love the aesthetic of the show it's like literally reminds me of summer I have sweetheart here really fun I added some matches to go with the survival wilderness theme i love the, the prosthetics they use for the creature and it's a really cool show and i love the way it looks and it turned out i have earwig and the witch i love this this is my favorite studio film i like the little earwig cassette and i have the mandrake and earwig and i love it, it gives me you know what, this this film actually does give me like summer vibes. I have The Nightmare Before Christmas, which is really awesome. I love this side, I meet the little hill. Books read, I haven't finished this one yet. And then I have films and TV shows that give off a certain season so that I could, once I reach that season, I could watch these films to just be happy. So I have winter, I have Twilight, Little Princess, Anesthesia, Fall, Gilmore Girls, Harry Potter, Spring, Shrek, My Neighborhood Totoro. I, I always say My Neighborhood, My Neighbor Totoro. And then Summer, Ponyo and Luca. I think Earwig would definitely be in the summer or the spring. Then I have Eclipse, which is the third Twilight movie. I went for a winter, winter theme and it was really great to do this. I had a lot of fun. Then I did the second Harry Potter movie, which is Chamber of Secrets, and I'm doing a Slytherin theme here, and for the next couple of movies, I'm going to do the houses as well, so I'm very excited to do that. And then I have a Leica spread. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I did it. And then I did a Little Shop of Horrors spread. I love Little Shop of Horrors. I watched it ever since I was little. And I love musicals, so yeah, I, I had a lot of fun. I feel like it's missing something right here. Maybe, I don't know, maybe an Audrey number two, I'm not sure. But 
yeah that's pretty much it i am a little over halfway through the book and i can't wait to add more spreads if you have any idea of which spreads i can add to this book let me know or you can let me know what's your favorite spread which one was your favorite spread i really like for my original one i like my castle rock but i also love the twilight and harry potter ones so yeah leave me some comments down below and i will talk to you guys next time bye